what's up guys this is brown with superman's comics just got back from baltimore comic con yesterday so i do have some comic books i picked up from there so this is going to be my haul for baltimore comic con 2017. so i first got there i went to the aftershock booth and i picked up a copy of dark arc number one this is the baltimore comic con exclusive and it was ten dollars but i went ahead and picked up two copies of it so from there, I went over to the Dynamite booth and I picked up a copy of the Sheena J. Scott Campbell cover. This is also their convention exclusive. This was $10 as well. After that, I did some uh, dollar bin digging. I went ahead and picked up, these were a dollar a piece. I picked up uh, New Guardians number two. And I picked up two copies of that as well. I also in the dollar box got a copy of New Mutants number one. I'm supposed to be making a movie on that. We'll see. But uh, this wasn't a dollar, but it was in the three dollar box. And anytime I see this, I'll pick it up. This is the Masters of the Universe number one. This is from the three issue mini from 1982. Uh, I do have this at a 9.8. But anytime I see it, especially for three dollars, I'll go ahead and pick that up. Also in the three dollar box, I got. Marvel Age number 38. Great He-Man cover on this. So anything Masters of the Universe I'm always about. Especially if it's cheap. This is from the 1986 Marvel Star series. This is Masters of the Universe number 2. I also have this at a 9.8. I'm trying to do a 9.8 run of this series. It was 13 issues. So I have about 4 of them so far. They're kind of hard to find. Also... So this is not from the dollar box. After that, I went to a um, booth. It's called Stormwatch Comics. I mean, this guy was so nice. They had a bunch of great comics. Me and a bunch of my friends, we were sitting there digging. Um, guy's fantastic. He made a bunch of great deals for us. So all these comics, I'll go through them, and then I'll tell you what I paid for them because I didn't pay the sticker price. I asked the guy to cut me a deal, and I didn't say anything. He gave me a price, and it was fantastic. So. I did get Masters of the Universe number one. This is from the 86 Star Series. I got a Red Robin number one J.G. Jones cover. I, um, I went back and got this because I was walking around and J.G. Jones was signing. So I was like, man, I want to get something with him. I want to hopefully sign it and maybe remark it. So I went back and got this, picked it up, came back, and J.G. Jones was at lunch. So he wasn't signing anymore. He was going to sign later that afternoon. Figured if I was around, I'd come back and see, but I never got back around there to him. So then I also got a Brave and the Bold number 33. This is a fantastic comic. Uh, this is kind of hard to find. I mean, it's not super hard to find, but especially in, in high grade. Uh, he had a couple copies of these, so I was glad to pick this up. I also have a Convergence Superman number 2. I mean, this book, it's... It's debated on whether this is the first appearance of John Ken or not. So if I can find it and I can find it cheap, I'll go ahead and pick it up just in case. Also, since I'll never own an All-Star Comics number 8, I did pick up a Wonder Woman number 1. And I'll never own a uh, Wonder Woman number 1, the Wonder Woman number 1 either. So I was happy with getting that. This next comic, I saw this and then I had to pick it up. I mean, this is so cool. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Rob Zombie, huge fan of his movies, huge fan of his music. So I saw this, I instantly grabbed it, and this is Rob Zombie Spook Show International number one. So you got House of Thousand Corpses, you got Devil's Rejects, you got Dr. Satan, and of course Cherry Moon Zombies on the cover. This is just a cool comic. I haven't seen this before, so I went and picked that up as well. Next, I have an Avenging Spider-Man number six. This is the Marco Cicchetto variant for it. Huge Marco Cicchetto fan, love his cover art. These blew up for a little bit, especially when the Thunderbolts uh, Marco Cicchetto variant came out that had Winter Soldier on the cover. Everyone loved it. Everyone started going and picking up a bunch of Cicchetto covers. So this was skyrocketing for a little bit, but it's come back down a little. So I was glad to pick that up. Also, classic, I picked up a Micronauts number one. Now I picked this up originally for me. I had a buddy that was at the con the day before the Friday of the opening. He was looking for this. 
I texted him after I picked it up, asked him if he got it. He said he wasn't able to get it because his kids were there, so he didn't be able to do a bunch of digging. So I'm going to go ahead and give that to him. Such a nice guy. Also, I picked up a Hulk number one. That was a fantastic cover. Um, every time I see these, I can find them for relatively cheap. I'll go and pick them up as well. This is actually a really good grade. Um, I mean, there's not much wrong with it. I mean, that's hard to pick out. I mean, I have to study it some more, but it's high grade. Then I also got a Adam Hughes cover, Power Girl number one. Fantastic cover. Anytime I see these also, I'll pick them up because everyone's a huge uh, Adam Hughes fan. So if you don't want to keep it, you can always get rid of it pretty easy. So I got all those, and that was from Store and Watch Comics, and I think I paid $120 for all those, so I was pretty happy with that. Like I said, I forget the guy's name. I want to say it's Carl, but don't quote me on that. Fantastic guy, Stormwatch Comics. Awesome. Great bunch of great comics there. I mean, he had tons of variants. I wish I had brought more money. So then I also went by the uh, Zenoscope booth, and they have some good variants. A lot of people, you know, like, ugh, Zenoscope. But there's one variant that's always on their website that I want to order. But the comic's always $20, and then it's another $10 for shipping. So I'm always like, ah, I'm not going to do it. So I went by it, and they had this. And I definitely had to pick this up. Because this is the Robin Hood I Love New York 12. It's the Marine exclusive. And since I was in the Marine Corps, a long time ago, of course, this is one I, you know, this is definitely a personal collection item for me. I'm glad to have that up. Right? So, those are all the comics I picked up at Baltimore Comic Con. My buddy and I, we just went for Saturday. Of course, we stayed at the hotel, had a few Kool-Aids. Then we started, you know, really liking the Kool-Aids. Then we started talking nonsense, like, hey, why don't we just buy a ticket and go back tomorrow? Because one of them had a Masters of the Universe, the 86 star, the number 12 issue, which is the Death of He-Man. It's got the Skeletor on the cover. I bought it raw recently, but I still want a 9.8. Guy was asking a decent price, but I thought I could go back and maybe get it for less. So we said, yeah, let's go back and get a ticket. Now I started doing the math. By the time I pay for the ticket and then ask the guy to come down, I went, I'd actually be paying a little bit more. And Sunday morning, they pulled a fire alarm anyways, so we decided to head back. And I live in Southern Maryland, about an hour and a half away from Baltimore. So I said, hey, how about on the way out of town, we stop through Annapolis and we'll go to Third Eye Comics. Third Eye Comics, another great comic book store. Their store was already big. They moved locations and the store is even more big, bigger, huge, humongous. Either way. And they also have back issues now. So, they have a back issue bin. Picked up a bunch of other personal collection. Nothing fantastic, but stuff I like. So we have Masters of the Universe. This is the image run number two. Masters of the Universe image number three. Masters of the Universe image number four. Masters of the Universe, image number six. This is Great Man of Arms cover. Masters of the Universe, image number two. Masters of the Universe from image number one. This is the MVC Creations, Masters of the Universe, number one. This is an awesome cover also. This is Master of the Universe image number five. Great Skeletor cover there. Another MVC creation, Master of the Universe number one. And not Master of the Universe, but still had to pick this up when I saw it. This is the Batman and Robin number one uh, Frank Quitely cover. So happy to pick this up. So I got all these from Third Eye out of their bin. Um, I paid $25 for all those, so I was happy to get those as well. Then I picked up one more comic. I have a six-year-old boy. He's a huge YouTube fan, watches game videos, loves playing Xbox One. Um, one of his favorite games on there is Little Nightmares. So when I was at Comic-Con, he was asking my wife, where's dad? And she, she told him, he's like, I don't, I don't have any comics. So I picked him up a copy of Little Nightmares, number one. This is the game variant. Also, so he was happy to get that. Of course, I'll take it out of the bagging board and he'll rip to shreds because he's not quite there yet. But 
What he doesn't know is I have a four-year-old and I have a six-year-old. And for the past two years, I have a short box for both of them. And I buy a Batman and Spider-Man every month, even though it's Dan Slott. <laughs> and I put a copy in bags of boards and put a copy in each one of the short boxes. So when they do get old enough and they can take care of them, I'll give them the short box of Batman and Spider-Man comics and say, here's the start of your comic book collection. Enjoy. So, anyways, that's just a little bit about me. Hey, that's my haul. Baltimore Comic Con, Third Eye Comics. If you're ever in Annapolis, make sure you check out Third Eye Comics. They do have a smaller location, which is my local comic book store. Nowhere near as big as the size of Annapolis, but still the great customer service. Great guys. And if you need a comic, they don't have it here. They pick up the phone, they'll call Annapolis, and if they have it, they'll bring it down here for you. So, hey, can't say enough good things about them. So that's my Baltimore Comic Con haul slash Third Eye Comics haul. If you guys like this video, please click that thumbs up button for me. Also, if you haven't already done so, like I said before, please subscribe to my channel because I'm always putting great videos. I do have about two hours of Comic-Con footage from Baltimore on my GoPro. I'm trying to sort through that. So get, be on the lookout for a Comic-Con video. Um, sound might be too bad, so if anything, it'll be a, like a music video, but that way it'll give you a chance to see what Baltimore Comic-Con's really like. Until next time, guys, this is Brian Superman's Comics, and I'll check you later.